At a medical clinic in Greece, 10-year-old Michael Morbius invites his proxy sibling Lucian, whom he renames Milo, they bond over their common blood disease and want to be typical. Their assenting father and emergency clinic chief Nicholas sorts out for Morbius to go to clinical school in New York while he centers around focusing on Milo. After 25 years, Morbius freely declines a Nobel Prize for his work with engineered blood. His partner Martin Bancroft finds he has subtly caught many vampire bats from Costa Rica wanting to graft their qualities with his own to fix his condition. Subsequent to illuminating Milo regarding his arranged unlawful examination, Morbius gets financing from him to furnish a confidential hired soldier vessel in worldwide waters with his gear. While the fix works, it changes Morbius into a vampire, who kills and depletes the team of their blood after they assault him out of dread. When his bloodlust dies down and he recovers his detects, a sickened Morbius deletes all CCTV film of his examination prior to reaching the specialists and bouncing over the edge. Morbius gets back to New York and finds he currently has godlike strength, speed, reflexes, and echolocation, with his vampire bats regarding him as a bat. To control his bloodlust, he remains alive on his engineered blood until it progressively quits fulfilling his requirements. FBI specialists Simon Stroud and Al Rodriguez explore Morbius' casualties and derive his inclusion. Milo learns Morbius is relieved, yet becomes irate when Morbius won't fix him too. While keeping an eye on a hospitalized Bancroft, Morbius tracks down a dead medical caretaker, depleted of her blood. Accepting he was capable, he endeavors to escape prior to being cornered and captured. In jail, he is visited by Milo, who offers to utilize his abundance to free him. After acknowledging Milo accepted his solution and killed the medical caretaker, Morbius breaks to defy him. An unrepentant Milo admits to his bloodlust-actuated wrongdoing and desires Morbius to embrace his powers as he has. Reluctant to hurt his sibling, Morbius escapes. Morbius meets Bancroft to make sense of what Milo has done prior to gaining another lab and fostering an immunizer against vampirism to pause and kill Milo, he likewise plans to utilize it on himself since he will become unfit to oppose his bloodlust. Stroud and Rodriguez track down film of one of Milo's assaults and, trusting Morbius' vampirism to spread, discharge it to the media. Nicholas perceives Milo and begs him to stop. Enraged by Nicholas' apparent inclination for Morbius, Milo wounds and powers him to call Morbius, who watches Nicholas pass on while Milo assaults Bancroft. Morbius gets back to Bancroft, however she kicks the bucket in his arms and he drinks her blood. Morbius stands up to Milo and requests a multitude of bats to limit him and infuse the counteracting agent. Milo bites the dust and Morbius takes off with the bats, grieving his friends and family and embracing his way of life as a vampire. Unbeknownst to him, Bancroft is restored as a vampire herself somewhere else, having ingested a drop of Morbius' blood while he was benefiting from her.